hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So to this morning, we are making one of my most favorite breakfast meals, foods, um, and it is, I don't even know, it doesn't have a name, but I'm gonna show you. I mean, it's super easy to do. It involves oatmeal. Um, growing up, I was not an oatmeal lover. When I started losing weight, getting into fitness, trying to keep myself full is when I started getting turned on to oatmeal. Um, it can keep you full for up to three hours. And so when I learned that, I was like, oh, like, I think I need this in my life. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to show you my, it's a, it might, it's a mix of yogurt, cinnamon, oats, and I'm telling you, if you just heard that and went, ew, I can stop this now. I don't like those things. Do not stop it. Like watch it, make it, try it. My husband had the same reaction the first time I served it to him. I was like, here, honey, like this is one of my favorite things. I had been eating it for months and he looked at it like, what in the heck are you serving me, woman? It quickly became one of his favorites and he requests it as well. So now when I make it, I have to make double the batch because I know he's going to eat some too. So first off, I'm going to show you my favorite way to make, and my favorite way to make this is with steel cut oats. You can make it with regular oats, but the steel cut oats just, I don't know, it just ups it a notch. It just elevates it. It just takes it from, this is good to, oh, this is amazing. So, all right, my favorite way to make my steel cut oats is in the Instapot. I, I have tried the oven, the crock pot, the stove top, the Instapot takes the cake or a pressure cooker for making my steel cut oats. So you can certainly make them any of those ways. And here's also what I love about this, this recipe. I will make this ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator and then just like, it's good to make. I can make this for two to three days throughout for the week, put it in the fridge, pop it out so I can make it ahead. So for those mornings when I don't wanna make this every morning, um, and that's what I'm doing today. So I am going to double the recipe. So this will give me four servings of oats. And depending on the size of your family, you can, you know, make this however you want to make it. So, all right, let's make our oats. Okay, so we're going to combine half a cup of oats with one and a half cups of water. You figure about a quarter cup of oats per person. And I'm going to double this, so I'm going to use one cup of oats. So I have one cup of oats, three cups of cold water, and one teaspoon of cinnamon what it looks like. Not very appetizing right now. <laughs> Set this to the porridge mode and put the lid on and get it Here's started. Here's still cut oats after the 20 minutes of working. Oh, they smell so freaking good. All right, so now we are- okay, so I pre-measured our yogurt. I have 212 grams in each container. And I used one whole container of the Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt in the flavor vanilla. Oh my goodness. I'm not a fan of yogurt, but this yogurt right here, it is just amazing. Okay, I'm going to transfer the oatmeal into the yogurt container. And I already know we have four servings. So it was a quarter cup of oats, dry. Okay, and now you are going to mix it up. All right. You wanna mix it really good. And you can see we have all four containers of the yogurt and the oats mixed. Now the only thing I'm gonna do from here. Step is I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon 
And there you have it. And if you really want to be bougie, if you really want to get fancy, if you really want to take this to the next level, take one teaspoon of peanut butter, drizzle it over the top. Depending on what kind of diet you're following, how many calories, if you want to put the extra calories into this, but my favorite is the natural peanut butter, drizzle one teaspoon on. It is so good. I actually could put on a lot more than a teaspoon, but peanut butter is a lot of calories. And this right here, it is homey. It is warm. It is yummy. It's all the feels of fall and cinnamon. And I eat this all year round. This is not just a fall food in our house. This is a staple for me for breakfast. I eat it every single week. I have been for years and years and years. It's so hard to go back to regular oatmeal after eating it like this. Like, it is just delicious. And you can play with the ratios. Those are my favorite ratios. A quarter cup of uncooked oatmeal. Obviously, it expands when it's cooked. The 212 grams of the yogurt. But you can play with it depending on what you like, what you don't like. But I am telling you, this is delicious. It keeps you full. You eat breakfast. You're gonna be full all morning long until lunch. Now this one with the peanut butter is about to go in my belly. But these three with the lids are gonna go in my fridge and these will be breakfast. Um, probably one for my husband and two for my husband, one for me. So we'll each get two. So true story, I just got done adding everything together. Um, I did a cut to turn the camera around and my kids were like, mom, you're gonna put all those in the refrigerator? Like, can't we have one? Like we want one. I'm like, well, that means the whole family likes them. The baby likes them, the kids like them, I like them, my husband likes them. So be careful who you tell your favorite foods about because they don't see, when no one knows about them, they last. When everybody knows about them, they don't last very long. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me know if you make it. Make sure to check out some of our other videos. Um, in fact, in the in the description box, if you like like really good homey, fall-ish cinnamon food, I will link. We actually made a pumpkin spice latte, a skinny pumpkin spice latte. All the taste without all the calories. So I will link that below in the description box. Make sure to check it out. Hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.